So this week's video we're going to look at my new purchase which is the Biltwell Gringo S which I've got behind here. Now obviously I've opened the top of the box just to see if everything uh, was in there, which, which it is. I didn't want to wait an entire week and then figure out that things weren't there before I opened it. Plus I'm a bit impatient as well so I pretty much have to have a look inside the box. So today we're going to be doing a, sort of a, an unboxing, a, a tiny review. We're not going to be trying out the Biltwell just yet. It is snowing out there. For those of you that, that isn't in the UK at the moment, we've been attacked by snow, which isn't, yeah, we don't want that. It's not riding weather at all. But as soon as the snow is off, then I will be taking the Biltwell out to try as well. Now, the one thing I don't want to do on this is uh, stick the GoPro on a mic on it. So I might, yeah, see how that goes. I don't know how I'm going to do a riding review without actually sticking a GoPro on it. Figure that one out. But anyway, this helmet is too beautiful to actually stick any mounts or any GoPro mounts or anything like that. We'll get around that somewhere. But the Gringo S, you know, it's far too cold. It snows outside. It's far too cold to do anything, right? So as I mentioned, the Gringo S, I have actually bought two extra visors of this as well. So the nice thing about these built world Gringo helmets that I like is the fact that you can customise them yourself. You can buy anodized visor mounts and everything, and more importantly, different visors to actually put on. I, mean, I know you can do that with different helmets, but the visor options that the Biltwell helmets have to offer, it's sort of my cup of tea, it's right down my street. So, let's do it. So we have one visor and another visor. And more importantly, the helmet itself. When I first announced that, I was thinking about the uh, the Biltwell on Instagram. A lot of people pointed out that the Biltwell Gringo helmets were only DOT certified. And that is true up to a certain point. I don't know why they didn't do this sooner. These helmets are now ECE certified, which means that you're allowed to ride them in European countries. It's a bit more protection, a bit more armour than what the US safety regulations need, which are the DOT standards. So obviously the difference between a DOT helmet and an ECE helmet, you're going to find a lot more padding in this. I got this helmet from thecaferacer.com and it came to me pretty much the next day. Obviously with where you're buying your helmet, you have got return services and everything, but ideally if you can, try your helmet on before you buy it even better because obviously you want to try them the next size up and I did do before I ordered this helmet I tried on the medium and the large so I knew I was medium on the chart but again I wanted to try the the large just in case and I mean it's a tight fit it's uh it is a tight fit as with all helmets the more you wear it the more you know give the padding is going to get so obviously a medium was the perfect size for me the large was just a little bit too big around the top of my head there medium is perfect now the reason I like uh, the Gringo S, I did have an option. Uh, the two options I was going to go with was either obviously this Biltwell helmet or the Bell Bullet, which is a similar style helmet. It's obviously a very plain, I mean, there's no frills, there's no aerodynamics or anything. It's, it's simply a round cafe racer, probably Evil Knievel era inspired helmets. The Bell Bullet is even more so, but the difference between the Bell Bullet and what led me to buying the Gringo is this aperture here. The aperture on the Gringo is a lot smaller than the Bell Bullet. I tried both on and what you find is that this comes to just where my nose is, so pretty much it's, it's got my eyes showing. The Bell Bullet actually comes down and shows your mouth. So it's, it's nearly an open face helmet, just with a little chin bar is all it is. So I preferred the style 
of this, so having less of my face showing. Now for the interesting part, the style of it. The reason I went with the Gringo S, and of course the Bell Bullet does obviously have that optional extra of having a bubble visor, bubble shield, bubble visor. The Gringo S does as well, but I love these ones. I couldn't decide, posted on Instagram, what colour variation I should go for. Now as you can see, I went for the matte black. Matte black, probably a bit trickier to keep clean than the gloss black because it does mark quite easily any greasy pore prints or anything like that it does show but again it wipes off but it looks even better with a bubble visor now I couldn't decide which colour I wanted and I ended up going with two options for the bubble visor the chrome which is pretty much a, a smoked chrome mirror finish and also the yellow visor which just looks kind of retro but amazing and it does send you on a trippy journey as you're riding but obviously before I got any further out of the box it comes with the instructions to say exactly how to change the visors how to actually change the padding on the inside as I mentioned the Gringo S is fully customizable so you can actually change the padding inside change the color of the padding change these little anodized bits at the side here as well and as well it comes with a neat little built well bag Keep your helmet clean which obviously is an absolute must i'm definitely not keeping my helmets in here it's too dusty by far so how does it look on me right i haven't got the prettiest face in the world but let's see what it looks like on me as i said it's a bit of a tight fit but you want it to be snug. You obviously want it to be safe on you. So a pretty small aperture, obviously comparing to the bell bullet. And you've obviously got a neat little function to actually close the visor down here, which is a button. Pops into place, and that's it. Now, for the exciting bit, the visors. So visor number one. Is, is what I call the Spaceman bubble shield. In fact, uh, let's put this bag on down first whilst I replace the shield. So to change the shield, it is two screws on each side. Use a flat head, doesn't need much force at all. Put these somewhere safe. And as well, what you have in here is a little uh, clip mechanism which actually holds it securely in different positions. You have a little knobbly bit on one side, put that as well to one side because what will happen is when you move your helmet over, it'll drop out and then you won't find it. and everything yeah it is pretty much a mirror finish probably doesn't look the best indoors what I will do is take it outdoors quickly just to show you I've turned the brightness fully up now so it's bleaching my face this is the mirror finish on here <laughs> how cool is that I don't know if you can hear me now but how cool is that 
you can actually see everything in here. There's the camera, there's me adjusting it. Now I've bought it outside now, just so you can actually see what it's like. That is it, you can't see any eyes at all. That is my preferred visor out of the two only because it's fully anonymous. You can't see anything through the visor at all. Obviously, I can, I can see things outside. It's probably gonna be a bit dangerous if, if I wanna be able to see anything, but people looking in, they can't see your eyes, they can't see anything, so it's completely anonymous, and I quite like that. So, with that all said, let's try the yellow one now and see what that's like. And this is it with the yellow bubble visor on. I absolutely love this. I mean, look at that. It's that bubble inside. It just makes it, it's amazing. Oh, I absolutely love this helmet. Seriously, to anyone thinking about getting a Biltwell helmet, get one. And as well, the inside, the stitching on the inside, which I'll show you a little bit better, is pretty neat as well. They've got the diamond stitch on it. It's just a really nicely put together helmet and it doesn't break the bank either. It doesn't cost the world. These accessories are, you know, they're reasonable. Everything's reasonable to add on. For the value of money, it is seriously a good helmet. I've just noticed here as well, there are little places for built-in headphones as well. So if you do want a communication system inside your helmet, then there is. And it's not that deep, just under a centimetre, just under 10 mil, maybe 8 mil. But there is space for a communication device to go in there anyway. My Biltwell helmets. I'm really happy. So that is it from me. Next week's video will be the CV750 wire. We've got the vinyl decals as well. The tank is still being polished at the moment. There's not that much to do on it as well. So if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that bell button as well. You'll be notified straight away when the video is up. And also follow me on Instagram. You've got daily snaps of what's up and coming and behind the scenes shots of the workshop in here. And also visit fullerballindustries.com where you can find merchandise. So until next week, happy riding, safe riding, and I'll see you then. Oh,